What's going on everyone, Juice Pags here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. Over the last several days I've been using a whole lot of EV2. As most of you know, I absolutely love the EV2, and I like to take advantage of the EV2 as a DPS hero, and I love to use her defenses at every given opportunity. Now today I wanted to talk a little bit about Reflect Beams, as Reflect Beams are generally misunderstood by a lot of players. Now first off, of course, the Reflect Beam, we throw it down, it makes uh, just a wonderful utility device against Hex Throwers, as Hex Throwers cannot actually pierce the beam, and they're there to protect your walls, your towers, whatever you throw them in front of. Now in addition to that, we see this little ball of light traveling across the bottom, and then creating a bit of an explosion when it hits the nodes. This is in fact the proton or pardon me, the reflect beams torpedo. So this is a torpedo that's going to go off as that little ball of nut light hits each of the nodes. Now remember if we put down more nodes, that of course means more torpedoes and more explosions. So if we get these torpedoes going, it's going to take a minute to let them get all the way through the cycle here. But once they do, we see the balls of light going, and the torpedoes are indeed launching, creating all these explosions. Now when we look at the Reflect Beams tooltip and the DPS, uh, 389,000 damage per second here at Tier 1, we see the crit damage on it at Tier 1 is 2.49 million, which is very, very nice. Now of course this does scale up to huge numbers once you get them fully upgraded, uh, 4.92 million crit damage and 744,000 DPS. Now, these torpedoes will just do a ton. How I like to build them generally is one of two ways. I like to use either Vicious Strikes, Deadly Strikes, and Power Transfer, or Vicious Strikes, Defense Crit Damage, and Power Transfer. I usually go for the bigger range as the range on a Reflect Beam doesn't affect the beam itself or the reflect properties, however it does affect that torpedo explosion. Now the graphic for this explosion is a touch on the underwhelming side as it's not showing you exactly what you're getting out of it. Now one of the reasons that this build is so powerful is just how Vicious Strikes works. Of course Vicious Strikes increases the defense range of the effective tower by 2275 units. Now every tower is affected differently by range and the reflect beam itself has a massive, massive benefit to the Vicious Strikes range. Now you combine that with Deadly Strikes and you've just got straight up absurdity. Uh, for example, as I mentioned, the graphic does not quite display exactly the area of damage. But if we do look at the tooltip, we see the range on the explosion here is 1,120 units. Now when you're looking at range on the tooltip itself, this is actually the range units. If we're looking at range on the defense itself, of course it doesn't show us the same thing because every single tower has a different range scaler and reflect beams are no different. So at 1120 units, just to give you an idea of the radius of this explosion, I've got this flame aura over here with no gambit, no deadly strikes, no nothing. We look at that. The range on this particular flame art is 750, meaning that this torpedo explosion is going significantly higher. In fact, it's just about, that's not quite 50% more, but it's a significantly larger explosion than the circle you see here from the flame aura. Now that is going to affect just a ton of mobs and in particular siege rollers. Uh, what originally made me want to go with this build and play around with the reflect beams is your ability to fully afk siege rollers as when you put torpedoes down in a or pardon me reflect beams down in a nice stack and the siege roller goes over them of course all of those explosions are going to hit the siege now once the roller gets to the point where it's slightly past the reflect beams of course the explosions are hitting the roller directly in the booty or the sweet spot that gets the increased damage. Now if we take this one step further and we go with say another reflect beam, 
woven in between. Now we've just got absolutely an absurd amount of damage as each one of these explosions, and you see how many explosions are going, have that chance of that two and a half million crit. Now with this many explosions, that means crits are popping off just left and right, and as you upgrade these guys, you can actually one-shot bosses with a lucky string of crits in all or many of the explosions critting at the exact same time. So hopefully this helps everyone understand a little bit of the strangeness of what I've been doing with Reflect Beams, as they are just super, super powerful and really, really fun to play around with. So thank you once again. Don't forget, this Friday we are going to be getting more details. Uh, this Friday at 12 noon Pacific Time, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, Trendy is going to be doing a live stream over on their Twitch channel to give us more info as far as what's to come. Now, as always, there will be a detailed info video available on the channel shortly after that stream ends. So thank you once again. Hopefully you're having fun with your pre-update farming in Dungeon Defenders 2. I certainly know I am. So thank you, and I will see you next time around. Take it easy.